What can be said about GoldenEye007? Well, don't trust any YouTuber who starts their YouTube review with what can be said about, because that just means they don't really have an opinion. Before we get into it, I want to give a quick mention to my buddies Andar.com, makers of fine leather goods. Check out these cool cord burritos they sent me. Take advantage of their Valentine's Day sale. Visit the link in the description and the pinned comment below. Use the promo code VDAY23 to save 20% at checkout. So GoldenEye 007 was a 1997 N64 game, movie license title done right, coming out a good two years after the film. Rare's rudimentary by today's standards FPS walked so that Halo could run and Fortnite could floss. This was the game that proved that a console could do a first person shooter. And yes, I'm aware Fortnite is third person. The 2023 iteration of GoldenEye 007 is, uh, well, on Xbox, look, you're going to revisit this out of curiosity and get those nostalgia feels, but you're going to find a game that is maybe not how you remember it. On the plus side, you got 16 by 9 ratio, suitable upscaling, it runs faster than it did on the N64, but it doesn't hit 60 frames per second, and modernized controls make everything easier. Look, we all have our gaming white whale, that thing that we just could never do, and back in the day, I could not get that invincibility cheat by completing the facility in under 2 minutes, 5 seconds on double O agent difficulty, but on the Xbox, first try. Now there are some issues with this game, and I don't think that Microsoft is being entirely transparent to the public. Firstly, we have Piers Brosnan shown as James Bond, so you're thinking, okay, this is a port, it's emulation. Oh, it's true to the title, even though Piers Brosnan is not currently James Bond. I think this game is available because we are between Bonds. And secondly, other issues tying it up probably pertain to a physical release, making this only available to those who either digitally purchased the Rare Replay collection or have Xbox Game Pass. My apologies, stalwarts of physical media. Now obviously GoldenEye is not going to have the splash that it did back in 1997, but I think we may have reached some precedent. Maybe going forward, physical media purchases will have less features than those that were purchased digitally. Putting a new tool in the hands of these corporations to get consumers to rent. If you haven't played GoldenEye before, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you can't possibly revisit this title with any real sense of appreciation. And if you've played GoldenEye before, just maybe not in the last two decades, this could be your shot to finish what you started. Because with our sharpened skills, quicker reflexes, uh, stronger AI opponents, Double O Agent is now a breeze. I mean, these guys just sidestep gunfire. Oh no, a slow motion tactical roll, I'll never be able to hit them. And yeah, there are complaints that the Xbox version doesn't have online multiplayer. Well, in truth, the original game didn't. This isn't a... I mean, it depends on your definition of remaster, but I can't really fault Xbox for offering that which is close to the original. So if you want that multiplayer experience, be ready to whip out those cardboard boxes to prevent screen peeking. I give this version of GoldenEye 007 an 8.0 out of 10. You just watched a video from my son. He's about 40 and lives in my basement, ladies. So subscriber and notify the bell for ringing. Okay, I said what you wanted me to say. Now do the goddamn dishes.